Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. So I'd like to show you a game today. This is a, it's an exercise and it's a game. And I'm gonna start off by showing you as an exercise, and then I'll show you how to play it as a multi-person game. And this has come about because Jake, um, who's fishing for tarpon, has to make quick shots because of air breathing. And not too dissimilar from what I do here, I think, with the snakehead, although I've probably got quite a lot less time. Um, but this game, I think, is very useful for making quick shots. And it's something they do, uh, it was shown to me by Peter Hayes in Tasmania, and we've played it quite a lot. And it's, a good, it's, a, it's fun. Now, to start with, it's all about slipping and shooting the line um, to save yourself false cast, basically. So to start with, you want to start off oops, with nine feet of fly line or a rod length of fly line outside the rod tip and then not shooting it while I'm putting it on the ground because that would be cheating. I'm just going to flick it forward and you notice I didn't slip any line there because some people do and you have to watch for that when you're playing against them. So I've got nine feet there and I'm going to make three pick up and lay downs. I've got a boat in the way here and I can't move around very much. But the idea is, let me just place it down, so I'm going to slip line on the left, shoot line immediately into the back cast, and make my first cast. Now I've got two more, and the idea is to cast as far as you possibly can. So that was my first. Oops. My second, and that's not going to go very far if it's in a tangle. And then my third cast. Dang. Okay. And you want to train that, and that's, you know, it's not a bad shot, right? Of course, you wouldn't fish that way, but that's not the point. The point is about slipping line and shooting line into the back cast. And that's a good training exercise in itself. Three pick up and lay downs. It's obviously a lot more entertaining if you have a long belly line or a double taper. Uh, with a very short head, it's not going to be very much fun at all. Now, the game is... Look at this. So, the, the game is... To start off with less line than I've got out here, we'll start off with about 30, 35 feet of fly line. Let's say there's three players in this game. And you can play this game, you can play this game over grass, you can play it over water, you can play it in the dark. It's a good game for playing in the dark because you don't have to go measure anything. Because what we're measuring is to see if we can hit the reel with the line so that there's no slack line left. Okay, so let me just get this a bit shorter, right? So we'll start off with something very manageable that I can probably do in one cast or two casts, certainly. And strip the line in. And once again, so player one starts, player one starts with nine feet of fly line outside the rod tip, and you can measure it to the butt. And you watch very carefully that he doesn't now slip more line than his nine feet out in front of his rod tip. And now he has three pick up and lay downs to try and hit the reel, okay? So one, all right, I've done in a one, and that's okay. So now the next now what I do is I pull a meter of line off and I pass it to player number two. Player number two comes along, I'll be player number two. Drips it back in, gets his nine feet of fly line. Here we go. Places it down, be careful he doesn't shoot any line because some people like to cheat that way. Does his first cast. He's not a good this guy. Second cast, and bang, he hits the reel, okay? Remember, he's got three, so he's got another go, he can do it. So he passes it to player number three. Oh, takes a meter off. Passes it to player number three. Player number three comes along, he strips it in. He gets his nine feet of fly line. Being careful not to slip the line out, he shoots and puts the line out. Now he's got three to pick up and lay down. So player number three, he's not very good. So the first one, he forgets to shoot line and it doesn't go any further, okay? Second time, he gets a little bit further and on his third go, he doesn't hit the reel. There's still slack line, okay? So now he doesn't pull any line out and he passes it back to player number one. Player number one's pretty good. Got his nine feet of fly line. Pick up one, pick up two, we'll just hit it there. Pick up three, doesn't matter, he's hit the reel, strips another meter of line out, passes it to the next guy. And there's only two players left now. Now, player number two, he thinks, oh, I'm going to do this. 
comes into nine meter fly line, puts it out there, being careful not to shoot any line. Cast number one, he messes up. Cast number two, he messes up. And cast number three, he doesn't hit the reel, okay? Now, player number one now, now so he's out. So player number one comes along, he has to hit the reel because you remember he has a new length of line because he's already stripped a meter out. Now, player number one hits the, hits the reel in three pickup and laydowns, um, then he wins. There we go, not shooting any line. One, oh, it's, not, it's pretty good he does it in two, okay? So that's the game. And if he doesn't, if he doesn't hit the reel, then he springs that meter of line back in and they have that last round again between him and player, the, the remaining players. So it's a good game. So let me show you some important parts to this. Okay. And there's no, and you know, a really good competition can be going 100, 120, 130 feet. I mean, it, it, it will go a long way, as long as you don't make mistakes. So, key number one, I think, we've got our nine feet here. Key number one is to remember to slip this line on the left. It's it's easier and it's quicker, I find, to sh in fishing, to sh to slip line than to pick up line. So this is why it's quite a good. This is why it's a good game. This is why on the snakehead shots, I start off a short length of line because I've actually got, you know, quite a decent shot just from that. Now, there are other variations that you can do. And actually, Jake mentioned a really interesting one. He started out with a bit more line, but he's sort of shaking the line out. And that's certainly one way of doing it. So if I, if I was, I maybe I shouldn't be showing you these little tricks in case you're going to compete against me. But we've got nine feet of fly line there. I can actually shake some line out, and now I've got a hell of a lot of line in, in that first back cast. Oh, damn, I shouldn't have shown that. I should have kept that one to myself. But there's another way you can do it, and that's by drawing a circle with a rod tip and slipping line. That's that's the way I've been doing. I like the shakes, to be honest. So starting off there with this uh, nine feet of fly line, I make that I slip some line there, make that circle, and then you've got quite a long cast to begin with. And that is the key, is to get enough line out on that first cast. Because if you don't shoot enough line in that first cast, you're not going to shoot enough on the second, and you're not, going, you're not going to be competitive. You can only shoot approximately half what you can carry on the back cast. It's approximate. Anyway, it's a really great game. It will, it's a good one to practice. It works over grass. You don't have to be on water. It's easier over water. It's stickier. Um, and it, it really gets you into this idea of slipping this line on the lift and shooting it straight away into the back cast. And if you've seen my snakehead uh, videos about taking the shot, I just touch the line at the beginning of the back cast. So I've got this, let's go back to nine feet here, a bit more. So I'm gonna, there's a line, I'm just gonna lift, I'm just gonna touch it at the beginning of the back cast and immediately shoot it around the V in the, in the grip there. So that really is the key, and it's amazing. You only just you only just have to touch it. There's just touch and no hang on. See how I'm shooting straight away there. I'll add one little thing. Maybe now this is too much information. This is more for the advanced student. Um, as well, oops, as well as a uh, slipping line on the lift and shooting line on the back cast, you can actually carry on shooting a bit more line at the beginning of the forward cast. That's what Joan Wolf called slide loading. So if you look at my hand, and I know I do it because I've seen it on video. So I lift, lift, slipping the line, touch the line, and I'm still shooting until this part here on the, on the forward. So that's all being slipped and shot. Um, anyway, the key is slip line on that lift great game to play let me know how you get on with it there you go and i'll do the video i was going to do this week i should do that one next week and it's a good one too cheers